Goku Town just released in early access and we are so excited to have finally tried it out. If you're not familiar, the game is a town building simulation game where you make use of different tools in different biomes to make the town prosper. But is there more to it than just placing buildings? In this video, we'll explore what makes Goku Town a fun and quirky journey and point out a few areas that could use some polishing. By the end, you'll know if this game is a must play for you. Just a gentle reminder that the game is in early access and not yet fully released with a lot more updates to cover in their roadmap. Also, while we've been given a game key for early access, the opinions stated here are our own and are not influenced by getting the product for free. So let's get right into it. First up is the world building. I know the storyline isn't exactly fleshed out in the early access and it's something the devs are still working on for later updates. But I do want to mention the tiny tidbits of lore already presented to us in early access. Right at the start of the game, we're introduced to an unseen boss and his underlings frolicking all over the place. The setup was clear and our goal as the newly appointed mayor was explained. As you go through the game, you'll find agent reports scattered throughout the town, a lot more in the deep forest, and underground areas. Most of these reports allude you to being monitored and without going into spoiler territory, what their goal is for you and the town. Am I blowing this out of proportion? Maybe. One goal of the game is to attract tourists and I can't be the only one who's curious as to why the tourists are not just humans but ghosts, werewolves, aliens, and a lot more. One thing's for sure I am looking forward to what else could be in store in terms of storyline. In Google Town, you have the freedom to design and decorate your town just the way you like it, with obvious restrictions. But, as the mayor, you can build and customize shops, homes, and other facilities to attract tourists and convert them into permanent residents. The game has a wide range of decorative items and buildings that let you create a vibrant and unique town. My favorite part, and something that I wish I knew sooner, is the terraforming feature that lets you shape the landscape to fit your vision perfectly. No space to put that huge shop you've been wanting? Terraform the town and it will fit right in. You can also randomize the color of the buildings where you can settle for a color you like and make the town uniform or have this lived in mix and match colors. It's up to you. Customization extends to your character as well. I'm not sure if there was a tutorial, but you can personalize your character near the station. There are already a lot of customization options, but as you go through the game, you'll unlock more outfits and styles for your character. Let's move on to the game mechanics. Gogo Town offers a mix of management and adventure gameplay. As the mayor, your responsibilities include constructing buildings, hiring staff, and managing resources to ensure your town prospers. You start pretty slow, especially since you'll be doing all the resource gathering and logistics, but as you go through the game, you'll be able to automate tasks by hiring townies, which means you can focus on newer and larger projects and other creative endeavors. By impressing visitors, you can unlock new buildings, decorations, and tools. I feel that the game's progression system is just right in keeping things fresh and interesting. The game features limited challenges and casual activities like fishing and farming, giving you plenty of ways to engage with the game world. And as you explore the map, you'll discover new biomes and uncover secrets that add depth to the story as mentioned earlier. This combination of city building and exploration makes for a well-rounded gaming loop. One thing that I should've paid more attention to is the import and export feature of the game. This helps in the limitation of building a certain number of items. If you feel like your game could need more homes, equipment, seeds, and other items, this is where you get it. Oh, and did I mention you can join up to 4 players in local or online co-op mode? Whether you're collaborating on building projects or just chilling and fishing together, the cooperative aspect adds another layer to the game experience. Then we have the visuals and audio. The game is visually charming with a bright, colorful, and cutesy art style that brings the town and characters to life. Each building and decoration has fun details, and not a single aspect is left out. I find that I enjoy seeing my creations come together as my town grows. The character animations and interactions are adorable. The way they react to whatever you do, like placing playground equipment, hitting them with a cleaning bubble ray, or almost running over them. Not good examples, but you get the idea. The visual appeal not only makes the game more enjoyable, but also enhances the immersion of the game. Then we have the audio. It definitely complements its visual style, which makes a relaxing and immersive experience. The background music is soothing, making it easy to get lost in the game for hours. One of my favorite parts is how the music does not loop, but instead moves to a new song. The game has this radio-esque feel to it, like when the song changes, a pop-up will show the name of the new song playing. Sound effects such as the hustle and bustle of town life and the ambient sounds of nature add depth and realism to the town at least for me. One of the unique aspects of Gogo Town is its management simulation and community building gameplay. The game's co-op mode sets it apart by allowing you to build and explore with friends. 
While another standout feature I feel is the game's attention to detail where every element from character interactions to resource management feels thoughtfully integrated. This level of detail makes GoGo Town not just a game, but an immersive experience that keeps players coming back. GoGo Town has an addictive gameplay loop and charming aesthetics. There are a lot of things you can do in the game, and this is just an early access. While there are minor issues, like unclear instructions for certain tasks and a set camera angle, I feel that GoGo Town is still a relaxing and enjoyable game, perfect for fans of titles like Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley. Overall, if you enjoy management sims with a focus on creativity and community, then GoGo Town is definitely worth checking out. City building and crafting games are like a relaxing escape into a world where you can create and expand at your own pace with cozy mechanics and story-rich narratives. And in this video, I list down my top cozy and farming games where I share my gameplay experience with a focus on the narratives and personalization. If you enjoy games like these as much as I do, you won't want to miss this. So click on the video and I'll see you there. Stay awesome gamers!